Wiki Watchers, my name is that boy Zinnaput, and welcome back to a uh, another Llama Arts video. This one we're watching is a uh, true story of a school that went into lockdown. So let's get into the video. It was a typical boring day in calculus, only it was Friday, 7th period, meaning the week was almost over and spring break would finally be upon us, so everybody was getting antsy in their seats, I could tell. We didn't have a test that day like a lot of my friends did with their other teachers, so our teacher in the middle of class just decided to start playing games with us on Sporkle.com. Quick thing, I know this website, I used to uh, play it a lot when I was at Slindon. It's such an, uh, an amazing uh, website. It's where you, um, like, it's kind of like a quiz. You have to, like, guess the brand or, like, the brand of the car, and if you don't know it, it will tell you it in, like, 10 or, I think it was, like, 10, 15 seconds you had to answer it. But it's really fun. Also, if you've ever had a school that has been in lockdown, let me know down in the comments section down below because I have never been in a school that's um, been in lockdown. He was a very laid back teacher like that. As we were doing some brand logo quiz on Sporkle, I remember the exact moment it happened. Right what after happened? my friend answered a question, I remember the exact answer too, Adidas. The Dean's voice came through the loudspeaker. He sounded panicked and frantic as he told all the teachers this was not a drill and to go into lockdown. I actually got the chills and I got goosebumps on my arms as our usually laid back teacher too seemed panicked as he ran to turn off the lights and ushered us to the back corner of the room. We all sat in silence for about two minutes and then the usual buzzing that came from a panel in the back of the room ceased, indicating that the school must have cut all the power. We all looked at each other, realizing this must be serious. A few more minutes of waiting later, we heard a man screaming at the top of his lungs coming down what? the hallway. Two girls in the class actually started crying, which made all of us even more scared. As the screaming got closer to the classroom, the lunatic sounding man started banging on the lockers while screaming, I'll kill all of you. It was at that moment. Well, um... That does not sound very good. <laughs> I know I shouldn't be laughing, but... Oh, God. That must have been absolutely horrifying for this guy to have to be in a school that's locked down with a guy screaming at the top of his head saying, I will kill you. That is terrifying that I started to fear for my life. My teacher shushed us as we all looked at each other to see our peers' reactions. The banging then moved from the lockers to our- Okay, um, why is- can someone please explain to me why there's a damaged, um, locker and blood on the floor? Classroom door. And that's when one of the crying girls screamed no. The banging on the door only grew- I'm sorry, but this guy looks like he's come out from a horror movie. <laughs> Looking by, like, you see here his teeth all, like, crooked. His face is all moldy. Um, his eyes just look all creepy. I'm sorry, but that's not even scary. It's just funny. Grew worse as the man started screaming, open up. Two of the girls in the class were crying out loud now. It felt like an eternity that that man was pounding at the door. But eventually, he finally continued down the hallway, screaming like a mentally insane person until we could not hear him anymore. 
I'm sorry, where is the police when you need him? Put him in a mental hospital. We're in a like, mental insane asylum. Even better, put him in Arkham Asylum. That's where all the greatest villains go, like the Joker, like Harley Quinn. Put him in there. I'd say 10 minutes later, though it felt like half an hour given the situation, the Dean came back on the loudspeaker explaining the situation, which was surprising for him to do. He explained that some apparently mentally unstable person entered the building and assaulted the woman sitting at the front desk, causing her to flee the building screaming, and staff wasn't sure if the man was armed or not. Now this was before the school had cameras or could afford proper security, so the school was wide open to something like this happening. The staff had done a sweep of all the hallways and classrooms and couldn't find him, so the dean instructed the teachers to resume teaching but to keep all the doors locked and to not let any students leave for any reasons. The most dis- For any reason, so like, you're saying that, um, if they need to go to the toilet, they have to pee in their pants. <laughs> um, I don't think that's a good idea, but like, since it's a crazy guy, it is the right thing to do, but... I don't think you want children peeing in their pants. The disturbing part, however, is that one of the janitors working the night shift found the man sleeping in one of the storage closets near the back end of the school, and according to rumors that were spread by my peers, sticking out of his pocket was a 44 Magnum. The janitor must have done something stupid to wake him up, for example, leaving the closet door open, because by the time a police officer could arrive on the scene, the man was gone. My entire class, as far as I know, to this day, has no idea if this man was ever found, but I like to think that right now, he's being given the proper help that he needs. Well, that was interesting. Anyway, if you have ever had a lockdown, in your school let me know down in the comment section down below because i'd love to hear your stories um so anyways make sure you guys go press that subscribe button press that bell icon next to the subscribe button to get you notified whenever i upload a new video stay awesome boy puss and stay cool girl puss and i see you guys in my next video